All right, in this video, I'm going to do one more example of a direct uh, direct proportion or direct variation problem. Um, this one will be a little bit different than maybe the other ones. So maybe it's Easter and everybody's eating their candy. Hopefully you got some candy. Um, so it says, the number of chocolate bunnies that can be eaten uh, varies directly with the number of people that are eating them and the time you know that you give people to eat them. So, so that seems reasonable. Um, the way that we're going to write this, so this is already a little different because things are, are varying directly with, with both with two conditions, uh, the number of people and time. So the number of bunnies, I'm going to let that, I'm going to abbreviate that as n. So it says the number varies directly, so I'm going to write equals k. It says it varies directly with the number of people, so maybe I'll say the number of people. I'll abbreviate that as a p for the number of people. So varies directly with the number of people, and you can think about and as being multiplication, and the time taken to eat them. So the time taken, we'll label that as a t. Um, so now I've created an equation that relates the fact that it says the number of chocolate bunnies that can be eaten varies directly with the number of people and the time taken. So they tell us uh, that you can eat that, that this group of people uh, can eat 42 chocolate bunnies um, in 10 minutes if four people are doing it, and we don't want to know how long it would take 20 people to eat a total of 600. So all I'm going to do is just take this first sentence um, or this middle sentence in here and plug in those numbers. So it says 42 chocolate bunnies. We don't know K. We're going to have to figure that out first. Um, can be eaten in 10 minutes, so we'll plug that in for 10, by four people, okay? So if we multiply, we get 42, we've got k times 40 on the right side. So in this case, if we divide by 40, we'll simply get, well, 42 over 40. And certainly that's an even number, so we can divide both of those by 2. Uh, it looks like we'll get 21 over 20 as k. <clears throat> okay, so that tells us the equation we should be using. It says n equals k, which is 21 over 20, times p times t. So ultimately, the question we want to answer is um, how long it would take 20 people to eat 600 of these. So again, we're just going to plug it in and, and, and solve our, our equation here. So we want to eat 600 total. The number of people in this case is 20 people. The time is what we don't know, so that's what we're going to try to that's what we're going to figure out here. So notice we could simply cancel out the 20s and that would leave us with 600 equals 21 times t. And if the solve for the time we'll simply divide both sides by 21 and we'll get 600 over 21 uh, minutes because again our units were in minutes, that's going to equal our time. So just to maybe get a feel for that, again I'm going to uh, take the shortcut here and plug it into a calculator. <clears throat> it says it would take us, it would take our, our people roughly, I'm getting 28.57 minutes for, all, for those 20 people to eat a total of 600 chocolate bunnies.